Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back with another video. This is the E by God channel, and today we're working on my son's uh, 40 volt 30 amp hour battery. Um, this is the new design that I have made, and what we're doing right here, we add more range to his uh, 40 volt uh, battery. So what I did, I broke all the cells down, and I added some more cells. I added a total of uh, 30 cells to it. And uh, they're all the same cells, it's just different colors. So if you want to know um, why they're different colors, is because uh, they're they're the same. Like uh, these yellow ones, they high star 2500, and these purple ones are the same, as you can see right here. High star 2500 mAh battery, and um, so what's that in the neighborhood? This is this battery is the, the the hardest battery I have made or built so far. You know I'm I'm only nine nine months into the e-bike community. You know what I mean? So I'm not a veteran of this and everything. Now building a rectangle battery like e-bike kids um, bike or well, square one is a little bit easier. But when you're trying to build a battery fitting in a triangle of a bicycle, it's a little bit harder because of the fact that right here you see right here it has to be curved and go straight up. Same thing on this side right here, but I already um, put some cap on tape on it, and I did my modification. So, so that's why this battery was one of the hardest batteries to build so far. I'm not even done yet, so I still got to add ten more cells along this row in parallel um, to uh, to finish the job, and then I'm going to uh, mod this side up, and then tape this up, and then I'm gonna uh, put cardboard around this battery and then we're going to fit it into the um bike and i'm going to show you um how i made it to uh fit in the fit in the bike you know because i just i bought this stuff you know me and then when i made this battery i put it in the bike and it fits like perfect so so that's a good thing that it fits so i'm waiting on my hoop glue gun to heat up and uh and my uh, welder i gotta spool that bad boy up right quick and um, so that way we can get a good um, spot weld on these uh, nickel strips and everything. Now, this should in increase the range on it and increase the uh, the current flow that we uh, need to go to the controller. Um, so that's what we're looking for right now. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and add those cells on top and then I'll get back with you. Cause this is actually day two of me doing this. It took me literally all day and, and most of the night yesterday to get this far so i'm almost 75 percent through now so okay let me go add those cells in there and then i'll get back with you as you can see i have um taped this side up so i gotta put my um negative here but i gotta come to this side and uh do the mod right here with some uh 12 gauge copper as you can see right here so I have a little bit of 12 gauge copper I brought from Home Depot and I'm going to run it on top of the nickel strips. Uh, that was some like some glue that was stuck on these batteries uh, from the manufacturer. So I was trying to get off the best way I can. Um, so far so good is that, like I say, it's, it's a very hard, uh, it's a complex uh, process, but it, I managed it to get done and um, but we're going to be uh, roughing all this stuff up because I want to put cardboard over here like this. And then I'm going to um, glue the cardboard on to the um, batteries. And then uh, this is going to be glued on and then I'm going to have Velcro on the bottom so that it will go on the down tube. And there's going to be Velcro on the back right here. And then I'm going to run my, um, my lead. It's going to come here, right here, and it's going to come down uh, right here with a positive vet. But um, <clears throat> but I have some protective tape over all this stuff. No sense before I do it, because uh, I don't want no short and everything. And as you can see, I got some insulators right here. There's a couple of batteries that needed some insulators. When I pulled, when I um, taking the batteries apart, um, the glue was so tough that it pulled some of the um, the um, the heat shrink uh, covers off the battery. So I got insulators right there. And uh, but so far so good. Um, this is my first battery I made that I had to do a curve to it 
as it's going to rest. Now this battery is going to sit like this. That's how it's going to sit inside the bike right here. So I'm thinking this is going to be like a 40 volt, um, 45 amp battery. Like I said, we added um, 30 cells on top of this right here. <laughs> so we got the solder iron going on. I'm going to go ahead and mod this side up and everything. And uh, we'll get back with you though. But I did want to share y'all. Um, share y'all with this video uh, me doing this on um, battery right here <laughs> as you can see um, I'm uh, almost halfway done with modern this side right here and then down here is that's where the uh, positive wire is gonna be at and then the negative wire is gonna come down and shoot out that way but it's gonna be uh, protecting everything so to do a battery like this uh, to modern like this with a uh, solid couple wire you really have to have a sturdy hand like it, you can't be shaking or slipping at all or um or you'll, you'll be uh shorting your battery out and and blinding yourself with a spark but what you what you can do is you can take some piece of paper like this and you can cover the cells like so and that's and you can do it like that so that way you don't have to worry about cross um uh, cross shorten your uh, your leads and everything and then you can go ahead and uh, put some tape on this side right here so that way um you don't uh, come over and short over here also so can you get those so yeah um we just gotta we gotta bend this over like so connect right here and then we're gonna come uh, connect down here and then right here and then right here so this will be the final piece right there and then once we get that up, we can go ahead and tape that side up. And then we go ahead and connect our own leads right there, a positive and a negative. And then uh, we can box it up, test fit in the bike, and then we go from there. So, all right, let's keep continuing. Oh, man, I am so, so done now. Well, as far as the modification goes, now I got to add, uh, add my leads here. And then we're going to flip it over. And then we add our negative leads here right there and then we'll um and then it'll run from here uh down and then it'll be an xt90 uh which is um over there we, uh, we're gonna run xt90 and uh once we do the leads and then we can go ahead and taper on up and then box her in and then then we got to modify the bike to put it in so that way it won't fall off <laughs> so but it's looking good though looking good so you can see i got the uh the ST60 on and the charger is charging so everything is good to go and what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and reinforce this battery some more uh, I'm gonna put some like uh, cut some boxes out and go and start putting it right here all around on the sides and everything and then on the bike so the long part is gonna go here it's gonna come down here uh, to the to the crank set and then it's gonna come up uh, with that little the angle at like a, a 40 90 degree angle almost but I got to take these screws out and then I got some velcro which is going to be uh, velcro to the seat um, seat post I got to take these out I'm gonna take this nut out and then I'm uh, I got some uh, rivet nuts that's going to be uh, rivet on this side to the controller and then uh, so all this got to be uh, got to come out in order for this battery to sit kind of uh, flat on this uh, down tube so that's what we're going to do doing but other than that I'm going to go and put the XT90s on I'm going to put the XT90s on and then I'm going to wrap this up um, reinforce it and then we're going to uh, kind of test fit it end up before we do all the um, other kind of modifications so so yeah that's where we at so far uh, it's coming together y'all All right, so here's the finished product. And as you can see, I had kind of made made the battery to actually fit in the frame. I got a Velcro here, here, and there, and also right behind the battery. And uh, I think I did a good job as uh, far as um, battery fitment go now. This used to be a, a 13S 9P setup. Now it's a 13S 11P setup, so that's going to give him a little bit more range. Used to be a 30, a 38, uh, 48 volt, 30 amp hours. Now 
I it probably like a what 40 40 amp hour 45 something like that and it used to sit up here on the frame now it's down low makes the center of gravity a little bit lower than what it is though so so okay well um he's going to be testing it out he's going to school today on it i mean it's a little it's a little it's okay i mean it's not professional though but this is my first ever um battery that I had a crate to fit inside the frame so i'm pretty proud of it and everything and he's going to be riding to school all right let me know how it come out all right so i guess that's uh guess that's it on the battery bill Yeah, the kids, they got to be going to school and everything. And he's, uh, there he off. So, so yeah, pretty proud of myself, you know, to, to, uh, to do that, um, battery bill. So he's going to school. Anyway, so that is it. That is it for today. And I just wanted to share with y'all the battery bill I just did. It was kind of, it was kind of scary. Don't get me wrong. Very scary bill though, but I did it. And it works. Had me, had me scratch my head. It almost had me doing the high blood pressure things. <laughs> so, all right then. I will see y'all the next one. This is the E-Bike Guy channel. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.